presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Uh, don't know. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 53, Nasdaq's up 113, S&P's up 17 and a half. Gold, gold contract up $3.50, trading at 2,004 an ounce. You get silver up 24 cents, 24 dollars, 83 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up 85 cents, trading out at $79.59 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10-year note, down 14 ticks, trading 111.20, the 30-year down 19 at 125.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading, where is she? There it is. Trading flat at 101.355. The Euro is at 110. The Yen is at 141. The British Pound is at 128 to 1 US Dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, if we go over to the SPY first. You know, took out the high from about a week, well, just about a week ago, right? Let's take a look at this. Yeah, about well, five days ago. That, that high there, that was generated on the SPY. is 456.43, uh, and we did 456.73. Right now, you're at 456. Uh, the contraction is pretty, pretty dramatic. We had 35 million shares, and we had reached the high with 65 million. We'll see how this next 30 minutes, I mean, uh, 60 minutes go, but the bottom line is that you're up there with light volume. You're gonna have the Fed do the announcement to two o'clock tomorrow. We're gonna have Microsoft and uh, Google come out with the numbers uh, right at the close, after the close, but literally Microsoft and Intel, I mean, in um, Google, the way they do it, they come out right after the close. Now, if you take a look at the futures, this is kind of intriguing that we missed the highs just by a speck. You know, the high was 4609.25, we hit 4608.75. Uh, and then what we just did, okay, you know, you had a little leg down, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Right now you're on the second one, but you can do, that was a quick sell down. We'll see how this shakes out. Now, you can see what it was doing. If you're watching Tiger TV, you're going right into that monster bar. So you'd have to get below four five nine eight in order to basically say that you're going to get the lower price because the top of that bar we got into which is the four six oh two and that's where we are right now and you know dug into it but that's a, that's a long bar man so the bottom of that bar is that forty five ninety six we go to the end queues well first we just look at the queues we take a look at those queues and the Qs, you know, you got your, your 27 million shares. That 27 million is going to 71. So, but bottom line, it's up. And then if we go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs, which we're going to see. That's interesting with the NQs. See, it's interesting. You know what's interesting about the NQs, too? The NQs didn't have the big bar that the S&P had to get that S&P going, you know, because that bar, that bar came in at, what is that, 1,300 hours, so that's 1 o'clock, and the bar, 
This is this is going to be intriguing, man, because this is saying that the Nasdaq's going to basically the Microsoft and Google just aren't going to come in because the this test this doesn't have it, which is really unusual, actually. Gold. Let's go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract rejected lower price out here again today. We take a look at the gold contract. So yeah, gold get down to 19.90. Said, see, you don't want to be a. You had lighter volume pulling back. You're inside the higher range now. You're at uh, up three dollars eighty cents. You're trading out as two thousand and four. We get over to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. It's going to be the dollar is going to be moving on this statement tomorrow. The 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 take is that we're going to get the aspect of a you know quarter point hike. The real question is is that what's going to be in the statement? And what the the dollar had just done. The dollar just did a fifty percent retracement of the last move down. Now listen to this. This is pretty cool. If you're wondering, you know, we we had talked about Michael Wilson from Morgan Stanley before. You know, he's a big dude with a good track record. Um, and he, threw, I talked about this yesterday, that he threw in the towel, right? Well, listen to this. This is wild, man. When I was listening to this this morning, that, let me get this. I got to put this back further so you can see how this works. Because this is a trip. This is quite a stat. And this is what I was talking about earlier. That... Not since 1929, folks, okay? When the market has done more than a 7.8 6 retracement of the low, not since 1929 has not that market gone on for another bull versus taking out that low. Uh, there was two times, I guess, in, they say, this is, this is, the story's on Bloomberg if you want to basically pull it up. It's quite a stat, though. <laughs> so this is going to get really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out, man. So we'll see where it's going to go. But uh, that's, quite, that's quite a stat. Yesterday, you know, when he was basically throwing in the towel, I'm saying, this, uh, this is intriguing. I wonder what he is looking at, particularly because of the aspect that they have, you know, they, you're... You're a big money manager. You're, you're out there, you know, every day, you know, putting your reputation at risk. Um, you know, I, and I'm suspecting, I'm actually suspecting when I heard this this morning on Bloomberg, when they came across with that number, that that was, you know, one of the things he was looking at, saying, okay, man, the retracement is so big that the bottom line is that, you know, we think, he thinks at this particular point that, yeah, you're going to get a pullback, but... What that stat says is that you're not going to go take out that low that was established. Hey, but guess what? Stats are stats. That's the bottom line. Let's get over and take a look at Google. So we take a look at Google. Google right now, not much action, man. You know? Yeah. I mean, Google has action on the way down. It's up 159, but that action is on the way down. Microsoft has been on a tear beyond belief. I mean, this is something else for sure. Uh, the real question is, yeah, Microsoft, Microsoft's in a different ball game. We probably got a yin and a yang after the close. Stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 68, NASDAQ's up 125, S&P's are up 20. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 69. You get the Nasdaq up 124. S&P's up 20. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You just uh, hit that button. You can get the opening call for one month. For $149, you get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%, and you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So you're going to get a great newsletter. Basil has about 12 archives on there. You're going to understand how Basil looks at the market every day, and you're going to be able to ride that wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. I guess you didn't know your name's Tim Ward, huh? <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> believe I did that. Wait a minute. Is this Tuesday? No, this exactly. Tuesday? Exactly. I thought it was Thursday. I know. So trust me. He's, well, I love it. So yeah. what's happening in this market, Basil? So i tell you something that's, uh, to me, uh, this is a really big challenge for a couple of reasons. One is, for subscribers, we've we've not shorted the Dow for quite some time. We've been long. We've, we've enjoyed it. We have our core positions from this past October, plus the one going all the way back to 2020. So that's a core position. We've traded around it. But we did take a short position uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, so far, that's held. But I'll explain what I'm looking at here. So for some time i'd say for uh, since may in fact i'll show you this chart right now i use one particular indicator the 914 it's a nine period moving average over the 14 it goes green and under it goes pink and i call it the uh, you know like the federal reserve is the bank of last re resort so i call this the indicator of last resort when everything else is giving you sell signals if this is holding strong, you've got to have the patience. So I, in a way, I didn't have the patience. I used some other technique to start the short position. But this here, the gray line, the thick gray line is the price of the Dow. The green line is a nine-period moving average. The black line is a 14-period moving average. Okay. I'll go through some of this in my show tomorrow. I did it today. I'll do it again tomorrow because it's going to be really important. And Thursday, we'll see what happens. But look. There's one little S right there, and that says to, uh, to short 
And when it's out, it means to go long. And if you look at this, this is way back. I showed this as a daily Dow chart, 5-3-23. It's the 3rd of May at 33,684. The Dow is a thick gray line. 90 in May is the green or pink. That means if it goes over the black line, the 14 period moving average, it changes color on the upside to green, on the downside to pink. So it changed because there was a very sharp pullback. Here's the price of the Dow. And I was saying, uh, look at the way the uh, there was a deterioration in the distance between the green and the black period moving average right there in April going into May. And that there was a sharp pullback. Would there be a pink change? Well, there was a pink change. When we did this, as we were coming into this area right here into July, um, there was another sharp decline. But the strength of this nine period moving average said, uh-uh, I'm not changing to pink yet. Even though it looked like it was absolutely about to do it, it didn't do that. It went green. And here's the price of the Dow. It's still very well above the 9, and the 9 is above 14. So in that sense, the other technique that I used uh, using on balanced volume and some other things was, uh, was premature based on this reading. And if you look at the S&P, let's just go to the S&P, same technique. Just making this a thick gray line. This is the price of the the closing price of the S and P, <clears throat> and here's the green line. Here's the black line. It's a lot closer, but it only went negative in May. The the Dow went made negative for quite a bit. Look, this went for one day, and then it switched to green. Look at the QQQ. Same thing. One day and this it switched rode that to green. Line, yeah. And look. It's getting closer and closer. If, in fact, the, the uh, QQQ index 100 trading vehicle starts to trade below, it would probably have to go down to 371. It's a 379, probably even lower than that, for that green line to go pink. But it's getting closer and closer. But you can't, you shouldn't presuppose that it's going to happen. You've got to wait for it to actually happen. So I've kind of jumped the gun a little bit. We'll see what happens over the next day or two. But that's that's the way I'm looking at this. This so I thought I'd just demonstrate. I like to show things that work out well. I like to show things that are, are where I've gone against my actual technique, and then sometimes I use a combination of techniques. But this is the one that says I'll go back to the Dow right now. The Dow is up uh, at 63 points at this at this stage, and you can see to get that gray line to come all the way down to change that light green. Nine period moving average to close under the pink, uh, under the black to go pink. You'd probably have to go to 34,500, 34,200. So I talk about something else very often, and that let me just get out of this. I want to show you something else. Um, I talk about the dark news cloud cover, and I've had webinars, I've, I've discussed this many times. And what I say is that most of the time, there is bad news sitting out there, but the market just ignores it. And then the same news on another day could be really important. So I called this back in November of 2022. I said, there's a dark news cloud cover, and it's going to be resistance. But I had small little squares. I just made this one very long one to say, hey, I think now we're getting closer to maybe taking out that high, the 34,712 higher back in December of 22. And now we've gone above it for a number of bars. This is a daily chart. One, two, three, four, five, six bars now. We're above that resistance. So that says to me, are we, are we really looking at all the negatives out there sort of dissipating and now this is a great support area instead of a resistance area so those are the things that i'm going to be tackling over the next coming in the coming weeks because what we're looking at is some of the stocks that have been really fantastic are now starting to stall and some of the stocks that were just horrible like a triple m has suddenly come alive or even the xlf so this is a I usually talk about a bifurcated market. There's like a tri or quadruple bifurcated market because there are now so many sectors that are doing different things. So I've got my prices that I'm looking at, and we've built up a little cash position here because I think there's going to be some, for instance, the artificial intelligence area, there's some, some weaknesses crept in. We've had some stock that have done really well, waiting for them to pull back a little more so we can add back 
some that we've taken off. So this is a fascinating period just in terms of looking at the structure of the market and all those, it's like a chessboard looking at all these different moves that are going on. But what I always like to say is that if there is one, if there's an area that can take over what was strength as weakness comes into the strong stocks and the weak stocks can start to move up, that gives you a nice counterbalance. So I don't see any major sell-off right here. I don't see that. I do see the signs of uh, some kind of a sudden sell-off and it could be Fed inspired. We'll see what happens. So parameters are clear. I'll go through them again in my show at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the right-hand side. They had opening call and then you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great night, a safe night. And of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Attention traders, Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 53. We get the Nasdaq up 112. S&Ps are up 17 and a half. Let's go take a look at uh, what kind of numbers that Google are supposed to be coming in with here. So... Google coming in with 60 billion top line, a dollar 32 to the bottom line. And right now, you know what we're going to do, folks? It's a beautiful thing. Let me get this over here. One second, where is that? There we go. 
Okay, so let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim Ord every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? Well, I, I sent you over three charts. Did you happen to get them? I have them. I have them. Right. Uh, okay. All right. It, we'll take a uh, look at that VIX chart. Okay, let's um, see. Uh, uh, which is chart number one, and it's a it's kind of it's not a huge divergence here, but this is an hour chart, and the uh, the second window up from the bottom is the uh, SPY, and a window above that is the hourly uh, VIX. So I wanted to show you what's kind of going on here when you got the VIX rising along with the SPY is usually has a bearish sign, and I noticed those. Uh, this is an hour chart, so this is kind of a not a major divergence, but it is still a divergence. But uh, this chart goes back to uh, last August, so I guess it's close to a year going back. But we had a divergence back in December 2022, and we had another divergence in February of this year, and uh, pretty much didn't have any divergence. And now we've been having divergence. Since it looks like about mid June on here, and you both got, even though the VIX is still low, it's around 14 and change. Yes. Or uh, thir 13 and change. It's still higher than it was in mid June, even though the SPs are higher. And so this is like nothing real major, but it tells me probably the upside is, is coming to an end. Uh, but in my opinion, there's really no major top here forming is probably more of a sideways pattern okay um so anyhow i got out of my position on friday yeah and i'm kind of just sitting here and you know today you know the old weisskopf method we're testing the previous high we had here what was it last uh today's tuesday be what last wednesday we're testing that high yes and and most likely you know if, i'm just eyeballing it here but probably we're going to have lighter volume than the previous high of last Wednesday, and that's uh, that's a little bit more bearish. You know, the FOMC meetings tomorrow at two o'clock Eastern announcement, right? And um, so, it's, and right it's, after the close, Tim, we have Google and Microsoft coming out with numbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, could be, it definitely could put some short-term volatility in the market. So, I mean, it's it's not like screaming bearish here, but you know, the bullish lean kind of went away. It didn't really turn super bullish I'm with you. bearish yep. here, but. You know, we're starting to, to see some signs. And also, uh, the weakest quarter of the year starts uh, July 7th and runs into October 7th. Okay. And we're, and we're in that period now. Uh, let's flip to uh, the next chart. Okay. This, this looks like, this looks in the bigger picture. And it goes back quite a ways, to back to 2017. But I do a lot of stuff with the trend. Trend, to, to me, kind of measures kind of a euphoric but it works best at bottoms tops it's it just kind of gives you some warnings but uh, the bottom window is a 10-day average of the trend yes uh, the next window higher is a 21 day the next window higher is a 6-3 day yes so you got basically two weeks a month and three month time frames and the beginning of uh looks like about july they're right smack beginning of July, all through all three of those time frames uh, uh, hit in bearish uh, categories, and that's that pink area I got showed there. Is, uh, so anyhow, when you get the trend that low for three months in a row, which is that six three day thing, and you know it's the upside starts to weaken some. Yep. So you, you need, I guess, you need panic, you need fear in the market for it for it to move higher, and if it's Going up was really no fear, and that's kind of what we're having right now. Because uh, uh, according to the trend, anyhow, you know the upside, you know, gets choppy if not you know a little bit weak. I mean, if you also notice, I got the um, SPY circled there uh, on top, which right. is the top one. Uh, so anyhow, we're running into the uh, you know those highs we had back in early 2022, right smack at them. And uh, so that's kind of a, a resistance zone. You know, it could be, you know, we run into that zone, back off and go up again, you know, maybe create a, a trading range here. But Yeah, you know, it's interesting, uh, Tim. Remember, you, it, when you had showed us that 
The last time that we just pulled on, we only pulled out a little, the panic, uh, the, uh, yeah, the panic, right, came in the market very quickly, didn't it, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Matter of fact, I got out, and also, you know, like the first day down, you know, the trend really got high. I'm thinking, well, this thing ain't going to go down much. It went down for a couple more days right. after I got in. But, you know, that, that signaled uh, some energy to the market to the upside. So I'm thinking, well, this thing's not done yet. Right. And n now uh, we kind of backed off, you know, not this week, but last week. And uh, the trend on that back off was, you know, like 1.85. Really didn't have any energy to get going higher again. So, and, you know, we've been rallying up here. Yesterday, we, you know, we broke above. Uh, a couple of previous highs of uh, it'd be Thursday and, and Friday of last week, and we broke above those minor as a minor high on lighter volume yesterday. And uh, now today we're above that. You know, will today's volume be higher than it was in the previous high of last week? You know, it doesn't look like it. So I'm thinking we're running in a little bit of trouble here. You know, I don't think there's a big short lining up. Uh, that still may happen, but. No, yeah, no, I that's what, that's why I kind of brought up, around I, here. Right, no, I'm with it. That's why I brought up the aspect of the last time we had a small pullback, and because there was like panic. I mean, that's so, that was so intriguing to me. Like when you were explaining that, because I could see how that could happen again. Because I, I think there's a lot of people, including myself, that are nervous up here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, man. You know, listen, I heard this stat today. Listen to this stat, Tim. This is wild. Because one of the big money managers at uh, Morgan Stanley, that was a big bear, right? He threw in the towel yesterday, right? But the stat, Bloomberg came out with this stat this morning. What the stat was is that when you go over a 76.8 retracement from the low, the bear market low, which we just did, not since right. 1929, has that not gone to a higher high? Isn't that wild? Okay. Oh, the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci relationship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We. Yeah. We. I didn't do the actual statistics, but we're you know we're way over sixty one point eight. Yeah. No. So, we're, we went. We were. We we're over the seventy six point eight. So when I heard that stat, I'm saying to myself, this is intriguing. They. You know. Anyway, I just wanted to throw it out there because it is intriguing. But at the same time, I can picture that you get a short term pullback. And you have that going, and then, you know, there's a little panic. Stay right there, Tim. We got a quick break, folks. Tim and I are going to be coming right. right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 63, NASDAQ's up 113, SPs are up 18. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. 
Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 63. We get the Nasdaq up 110. The S&Ps are up 17. We're talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And okay, so Tim, you want to go to the next shot? Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, we can go to the next. This is. Oh no, we can stay. We a, can stay with the trend. Yeah, no, we. Pardon? Just tell me what you want to do. Okay, number number three be good. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, it's just, this is just a real simple thing, and it's, it's like kind of a no-brainer. But this is a short term. Doesn't look at the big term. In other words, this okay. thing can turn bearish next week. But uh, the bottom window is the 18-day average of the advanced decline percent for GDX. Next window up is the. Uh, uh, GDX up down volume percent, and in a nutshell, if they're above minus ten, both of them, the market's in an uptrend period, and if it's down, below minus ten, market's a, GDX is in a downtrend period, and they both turned up, you know, pretty much close to July first, both tend to up, turned up above minus ten, and even though the market uh, did retrace here last week a little bit, both those indicators remain well above minus ten, so. Uh, you know, we're in the 20s right now, both of them, you know, around the 25 plus 25 range. Yes. Uh, so um, we're an uptrend. So it's it's nothing really, you know, how far we'll go, we don't know. But as long as that remains blue, I guess you might say, that's when both indicators are above uh, minus 10. Uh, the uptrend should continue. And I went back as far as you could go. I forgot, when, when did GDX begin? Uh, I think it began in 2011, maybe. Um, let me get it for you right now. But I know I love this chart, Tim, because, you know, I love it so much is that what you had is that you had the uh, aspect of the, uh, even though the, um, 2006, 2006, 2006, May, May 22nd, right. 2006, yeah. Okay. You know, because even you, when it was going sideways, I mean, you know, the GDX, you know, pulled back a little. It had some real good strength. We had a couple of days of strength, you, but you just pulled back. But yet that this stayed higher, much higher, actually, which is pretty cool. Yeah. 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 It, it kind of, it, well, it's got the advanced climb in it, and it's got up, up down volume in it. Right. So it really, on a short-term basis, it really shows what's going on in the market. And, so, you know, it's, if I went back to 2006 as far as you could take it back. Yes. And it really it doesn't spin year round. When both of them are up above, you know, minus 10. Right. Uh, it's, it's going to keep going. How long? Don't know. Don't care. I know. You know? <laughs> well, I do care. But I'm you with know, you. once it turns down, then, you know, you take your profit and or you go short. You don't, you know, sure. know. But right. even that last high we had back in, in April, you know, it got pretty close to the highs there. Right, you know, and even though the market went back up and tested that high in in May, both those indicators remain weak. Right. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so big time. Um, but, so it, it catches the trend. So it doesn't really worry about the the wiggles, you know. And uh, but you know, to me, I'm thinking this this thing's going to remain blue 
in my opinion, all the way in October, you know, right. uh, don't right. know if that really happened or not, but, uh, I'm thinking that's probably a good chance, but this is a, a good indicator for, you know, playing options too. Right. You know, on a, right. You know, cause it's, the windows are, are anywhere from a month to, I think I've seen one last for about six months on this, but most of them are a month to three month type time frames, which is perfect for option trading. No, big so, time. Big time. There's no doubt about that. Pretty wild, man. So, I'm telling yeah. yeah. So, but anyhow, I just I wanted to present that to you. It's kind of like a, it's, it's, you don't have to do a lot of thinking, you know. Right. No, I'm no, just, I'm with you. And we know, you know, particularly, well, the market's trend, period. But in the gold market, man, <laughs> gold trends like a monster. I mean, if it's going up, it likes to go up a long way. If it's going down, it likes to go down a long way. So this is always yeah. a cool little tool to have in your toolbox. No doubt about that. Yeah, yeah. So, anyhow, I wanted to just point a point there. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, but uh, right now we're in a bullish trend, and and how long? Don't know. And um, but you know, it could be months. I think it's I think it's going to go on for October. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. So it, it'd be really interesting. So. You know, we tomorrow at two. I mean, you're 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 almost well. You're at highs. Tomorrow at two, we get the Fed announcement, so it's going to be really intriguing because, I mean, because you know, the market expectation is like, okay, you're going to come up with a quarter point, and of course, the whole key is, is that, okay, what is what is the statement going to be like? Okay, we're we going to, you know, continue to go up, or is there going to be another pause? Uh, you know, what, what, where, where are they going to go with the the structure, the interest rate structure here, which you know, no doubt is going to affect everything. So this is going to be intriguing. Right. I, I think, yeah, I think the market's kind of, at least how I'm reading it, anyhow, that it may just kind of flip sideways. I think the quarter points all, all obviously is already built in because the market's rallying into that. And there's yes. a 90% uh, kind of, uh, consensus that it is going to be a, a quarter point read. So it's already, you know, cake baked into the market. Right. What the market does after that, I don't know. Um, right. But right. That's, that's the problem. I, I don't see anything real bearish here. Just, right. I just see some minor divergences, and and uh, but we'll, we'll see. But you know, we'll get some panic again because we need some panic in the market to build energy here to get going to the upside again. Is that one chart I showed you in that ten day, you know, the twenty one day and the six three day average? Oh yeah, got got pretty low. It's running out of kind of energy to you know running out of panic for to keep this driving market going higher. Right. So I'm, I'm thinking we need some back and forth here to build some energy. And uh, and I, I think year in we're going to be higher than what we are right now. No, I know. I, I yeah. remember the first time you said that. And you know, I can picture. I you know, it's going to be intriguing here, folks. Is that I can picture, you know, because of the last downtrend, you know, the panic came in really quick. I can picture the same thing happening. And if that's what happens, well, you know, we'll be ready for it. I mean, that's what's really pretty cool yeah. here because, uh, you know, if they is up that yeah, quick. Have, yeah, you're right. You know, we know the signs to look for when. When we start seeing panic, you, you don't get scared with the crowd, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, 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 you're. It was separates us, so we're not the crowd anymore. We're part of the. Uh, I don't know. Call it smart money. I guess I don't know. Yeah. But, well, the thing that's so intriguing about this, meaning that if you just get a shallow retracement and you have such a panic, and I can picture why there would be such a panic, you know, because we've gone up so far. That's on one side, but on the other side, you know, because we've been in inflation for so long, you know, the bottom line is that when you look at higher numbers, that doesn't mean that we can buy more with that higher number. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, a dollar is not worth what a dollar was five years ago, man. Not even close. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like, okay, close, yeah. you got a higher number. Okay, well, you got a higher number. Okay, but now if you cash that in and want to go buy something with it, well, you're not going to be able to buy as much as you bought, you know, five years ago. If, it, if we were talking yeah. about the same number, that it would be. You know what I mean? So I think, you know, after watching Zimbabwe, remember, we, I mean, you were on the air with me when we watched Zimbabwe go to the moon. <laughs> um, that's right. That's and the, right. Yeah. yeah. In the stock yeah. market, and it was like, okay, yeah, that was all about inflation. You know what I mean? I think it was, you know, it was going up thousands of points every day, folks. It was insane. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah, man, so. you have a great night, a safe night, and uh, we'll uh, look forward to talking to you Thursday, Tim. All right. Talk Thank to you, you then. Okay. okay. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim at Ord, O R D, dash Oracle, O R C L E dot com. That's Ord, dash Oracle. 
Tim'sOn.com. And Tim's on at the uh, 3.30 point on Tuesdays and the 3.20 point on Thursdays. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow Industrials right now up 56. You got the NASDAQ up 105. S&Ps are up 16 and a half. So let's go over to Microsoft and let's see what they... Uh, top line, bottom line, what they're looking for. So they're looking for... Top line, 55.5 billion. Uh, and then your bottom line, $2.56. And it's pretty amazing. Uh, you, know, you still have Microsoft basically growing at 5% a year. I mean, when you look at these numbers, it's wild, man. I mean, they did 125 billion five years ago. They did 211 billion uh, this year. If we go to Google, Google is going to look for 60.3 billion and a dollar 32 to the bottom line. Now the difference with Google is that Google's still growing in the United States by 7% a year, 7% and 6.3% internationally. That's pretty amazing, man. So I'd say that that's going to be wild watching this shake out because I better get it right. And it looks to me that, you know, my take is that this Google's going to go lower. Let me let me pull this back for a second. 
Put it on a monthly. Got some, yeah. There's nothing heavy there. Microsoft, Microsoft's a different animal, man. So we might have one go up and one go down, and then that'll just flatten out the NDX. We put the volumes on this. Microsoft better uh, not basically miss anything, man, because this is one of these deals that, you know, you are high, 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 big time. Always remember, folks, the bank of Claudia Hot Alt, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. We're going to have all the numbers, of course. You got the Fed coming out. We got it all above. Wow! Look at them, folks.